Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'll be showing you guys my empties for the year of 2017. Now the items here are just what I've collected from spring, so it's only three-fourths of the year because I wasn't really that much into makeup and panning then. Alright, so I've got three packs of the cotton rounds from Target and I've got this Ulta eye makeup remover. This came in like an Ulta set with like, it was like $20 and it was fine, but it burned my eyes, so I won't be getting this again. And then I've got my Holy Grail, the Neutrogena Makeup Wipes, and I always go through these. So then I have my sheet mask. It's the Dream Skin One Minute Mask that I got as a sample. And then I've got the Innisfree um, sheet mask and the Tony Moly I'm Real ones in Vitalizing and Skin Soothing. Um, I didn't really like these, and I don't really like sheet masks. Then I have the Bior Pore Strips. Um, I don't feel like these do much, at least for me. So then I've got the Yes to Carrots Nourishing um, Daily Cream Facial Cleanser. Then lastly, I have the Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub, and I love this. Um, I use this all the time, and it's my go-to scrub. So here are all my moisturizers for the year. Um, so let's start off with these little samples first. Um, I bought a sample of the Innisfree Green Tea Balancing Lotion. Then I have a sample of the Clinique uh, Moisture Surge uh, Hydrating Supercharged Concentrate. And then these two, these two aren't necessarily empties. Um, this is what I mean by sometimes I declutter slash empty things. Um, so these are really old skincare products that I've had for a few years and they just do not work at all. And these are some of the duds. And then over the summer, I bought the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream and it says it's for extra dry skin. So I tried this one out and as you can see, it's completely used up. I scraped every last bit of this out because it wasn't cheap for drugstore. I feel like this was, I think I remember this was about $20 and it just, it wasn't doing much. Then I've got the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. And I hear a lot of good things about Glam Glow, but this has such a heavy scent that I just can't wear it. It just made me nauseous, so I'm going to stay away from that. Next, I've got the It Confidence in a Cream sample, and I wrote on it that it's creamy, it feels lemony, and smooth. Then I've got a Shiseido Eye Cream. This was alright. Okay, next we have lip products. So here I've got um, like lip treatment products, and then here I've got like lip balms and lip sticks. So I have a couple of the e.l.f. Um, moisturizers, not moisturizers, exfoliators, and this one's kind of gross, but it's done. It's not going to be used up anymore. And I really love going, like, using these up because my lips are really dry, so this just helps to get off all the flakes. The only thing is that I like how it's really cheap. Um... But I think Elf raised the price of these. The reason why they're not fully used up, some of them, is because every time I get sick, I don't use those products again. So I just put them to the side and I get a new one. So I love this. This is one of my holy grails. And then I've got my lip products here. And I have severely dry lips, if you can tell. So I need a lot of lip balms. So I've been like going through a lot of them. Here I've got the baby lips um, in the quenched version and as you can see it's pretty used up and again I didn't finish this because I dropped this at where I work and the packaging got all like gross like I don't know if you can see that but I was like there's no way I'm using this again and it was so disgusting so I put this as an empty I got a lot of use out of that and it was close to being done anyway And going through my trial and error of lip, of lip balms that'll work for my dry lips, I got this Alafia Purely Coconut Fair Trade Lip Balm from Whole Foods. And this was okay, like this is kind of nasty now, but I used up most of it and this part just expired because, well, I couldn't finish it by the time it expired. So I got as much of use of this out of this as I could. And this was alright, um, made your lips look really shiny and I don't really like that, so... I won't be repurchasing this. Next here, I've got the CO Bigelow Lip Balm. 
and I've had this for so long like it's really old this had to go and then the next one up here I've got the Pacifica Natural Minerals Power of Love lipstick and this is a, this one is in the shade Super Love and let me show you guys this this is so cool to see so I used up as much of this as I could and it eventually ew that was disgusting <laughs> but it um it got moldy like even here you could still see it it's got like black mold around it and that's what happens with natural products because they don't have as many preservatives so I'm totally fine with that at least I know that it's they're not lying about the natural thing so um yeah I like this and I'm glad I got this used up All right next we've got mascaras and lashes so here I've got the Ardell Wispies lashes I was just practicing with these to get the hang of putting on false eyelashes, and it was fine. They look nice. Then I used up a mini of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and this mascara is, it's nice. I enjoyed using it, but the formula is pretty dry, and I got a lot of flaking with it. Next, I have my Holy Grail Mascara, the Too Faced Mascara, and, um... I like this just like anyone else does, but again, the problem with it is that it flakes a lot. And then I have the Ulta Beauty Amped Lashes Mascara, and I feel like for a drugstore mascara, this was pretty good. Like, let me show you the wand. There we go. It was, it's like a gel formula, so it's pretty different than those two. But I really enjoyed it. It, it looked like nice natural lashes and I don't know why but I'm digging the packaging like it just looks so cool. So those are my four lash products and yes I'm counting these because if it were up to me I would just leave these in a pile and like never use them up, never check samples out. And um, so I take pride in the fact that I actually open these up particularly because I don't like perfumes. So anyway... Um, on the Marc Jacobs fragrances, I wrote that it smells good, and then the replica one, um, I don't really remember what this smelled like, and then this Stella McCartney one, did I leave a note on here? Oh yeah, I said it smelled like mature flowers. Lastly, I've got a random category, this is from Ikea, and this was nice. It's just that it smelled like wax more than vanilla. Alright guys, so I tallied up all the items. And including the empties in this video and the 12 pans of Christmas project pan items that I also used up, the total comes to 44 items and a grand total of $188.59. So I'm really impressed with those numbers because I noticed that without the project pan, I would have been able to use less items and less money. So without the 12 pans of Christmas project pan, it comes to 35 items, which is just the items in this video, and that came to $135.62. So the difference that my Project Pan made was about 9 items and $52.88 of a difference. That just goes to show you how much Project Pan can really help you get through your items, and I'm really proud of that. I'm really happy with that number. Also, breaking the items up into categories, including the project pan and this um, empties that I've collected. It comes to 9 makeup items, 28 skincare items, 4 fragrance items, and 2 miscellaneous. So I'm actually really surprised by those numbers as well because I could have sworn I had used up more makeup, but I guess I haven't. And I'm really surprised that I got through a lot of skincare. I mean, I didn't realize how much of it I went through. And I was saying, like, oh, I'm going to invest more in skincare in 2018. Um, but, yeah, it is really surprising. So, please take care, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.